In the vast cosmic tapestry, one celestial body has ignited the imagination of humankind like no other. Mars, the enigmatic red planet, has tantalized our senses and beckoned us to unravel its mysteries. As fragile beings of Earth, we yearn to discover what lies beyond our home. Mars, with its haunting familiarity, has lured scientists and dreamers alike, playing tricks on our perception and challenging the depths of our curiosity. Thankfully, with efforts from NASA and some notable scientists, monumental discoveries have been uncovered that have sent shockwaves through the scientific community. But what exactly did they discover on Mars that piqued the world's interest? From the chilling truth about temperatures to the Martian water mystery, join us as we explore the top 15 most intriguing and chilling Martian discoveries. Number 15. Methane Spikes and Alien Life Speculations one of the most fascinating discoveries in Mars is the intermittent surges of methane gas swirling through the Martian atmosphere. NASA has detected these periodic releases, igniting a blaze of curiosity within the scientific community. But what could be the cause? Well, there are two enticing possibilities. First, we have the potential presence of ongoing biological processes. Picture this. Microscopic organisms or microbial life forms hidden away, orchestrating nature's symphony. These clever little creatures might be responsible for these methane spikes, belching out the gas as a byproduct of their metabolic activities. It's like a tiny, extraterrestrial ecosystem thriving beneath our cosmic noses. There's also a second possibility, a geological wonder. Imagine vast underground chambers where volcanic activity occasionally stirs. As these fiery tempests erupt and subside, they release bursts of methane that waft their way to the Martian atmosphere. Well, we could say that it's nature's way of putting on a show, drawing us deeper into its riddles. Number 14. Toxic Soil Composition in their attempt to grasp Mars' potential habitability, scientists have discovered another alarming fact. The poisonous makeup of Martian soil. Extensive study of soil samples taken by Mars rovers and landers indicated the existence of hazardous chemicals, such as perchlorates. These highly reactive chemicals spell trouble for living organisms, including humans. For future colonization and cultivation efforts on Mars, this toxic soil poses quite the challenge. How can we grow crops if the very soil they need to prosper is a threat to their existence? And what about the brave astronauts who tread upon this land? Inhaling or coming into contact with this toxic soil could have dire consequences for their health. However, as with any great challenge, ingenious minds are at work to find solutions. Scientists and engineers have set their sights on a remedy, cleansing and preparing the Martian soil. Bioengineering and chemical treatments are among the strategies being explored, aiming to neutralize these harmful compounds and create an environment where plants can thrive. After all, if we hope to create sustainable habitats on Mars, we must pave the way for a flourishing ecosystem. Number 13. Recurring Slope Lineae Let's talk about those mysterious dark streaks on Mars, known as Recurring Slope Lineae. Scientists first discovered them in 2011 when they were studying images taken by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. These streaks are found on the slopes of Mars during the Martian summer and disappear during the winter. Meanwhile, they have been hypothesized to be flows, but whether they are flows of liquid water, brines, or dry sandy material is uncertain. Over time, scientists have been speculating about what causes these streaks. One popular theory is that salty liquid water flows or seeps through the red dirt on Mars, melting some of the underground ice when certain spots get warm enough. Isn't that amazing? It could be a sign that Mars has subsurface water. Number 12. The Chilling Truth About Temperatures You might think that being farther away from the sun would make Mars a frosty paradise, but guess what? It's even cooler than you might imagine. Mars clocks in at approximately 222 million kilometers away from the Sun, while the Earth is just a tad closer at around 148 million kilometers. 
Thanks to the marvels of NASA's Perseverance rover, we're gaining new insights into the temperature on Mars. It turns out that even with its red desert reputation, Mars is showing us some surprisingly warm daytime temperatures. Daytime on Mars can pack quite the heat, at least compared to what we previously thought. But don't be fooled by these balmy days because the Martian nights come with their own chilling twist. When darkness falls, frost creeps and shrouds the rocks on the Martian surface. It's like a frozen ballet unfolding under the cosmic stage lights. But the show doesn't end there. As dawn approaches and the air begins to warm up, that frost undergoes a magical transformation. Like a disappearing act, the frost turns into vapor, filling the Martian atmosphere with 100% humidity. Can you even imagine having that level of humidity on Mars? It's mind-boggling! Number 11. A bushel of blueberries. Let's talk about blueberries, but not the kind you find at the grocery store. These small, iron-rich spheres were first discovered by NASA's Opportunity rover in 2004, scattered across the rocky surface near the robot's landing site. The scientific team working on the mission affectionately dubbed them blueberries, although figuring out what they actually were proved to be a perplexing puzzle. To try and understand their origins, researchers have turned to studying similar-looking spherical formations found on Earth. New research based on these terrestrial analogs offers a fresh idea about the chemistry that went into creating Martian blueberries. Excitingly, this research also helps piece together what ancient Mars might have looked like. These blueberries are not just intriguing for their whimsical moniker, they also have provided some of the earliest evidence we have that Mars was once incredibly wet. No matter what the exact chemistry of these spherules was, the fact that they exist tells us a great deal about the planet's past. So it's clear that a lot of liquid water passed through these rocks over time. Number 10. Evidence of Lethal Radiation Levels Now let's talk about the harsh reality of radiation on Mars. Due to the thin atmosphere and the lack of a strong magnetic field, Mars is exposed to intense solar radiation. Thanks to the incredible work of NASA and Elon Musk's ventures, we now know that the radiation levels on Mars are incredibly high, to the point of being lethal for humans. This is a massive concern for future manned missions to the Red Planet. It's important we come up with solutions to protect our astronauts from these high radiation levels. Using shielding mechanisms and advanced radiation protection technologies will be vital to keep future explorers safe. But we can't ignore the unsettling issue of lethal radiation levels on Mars. It's a massive hurdle we must overcome as we continue to unravel the mysteries of the planet while prioritizing the well-being of our astronauts. Number 9. The Existence of Quakes You might be surprised to learn that Mars experiences seismic activity just like Earth does. NASA's exploration missions have revealed that Mars has its version of earthquakes called Marsquakes. Over time, scientists have placed seismometers on the Martian surface, and these instruments have detected subtle vibrations caused by Marsquakes. These seismic events provide us with valuable insights into the planet's internal structure and geologic processes. By studying Marsquakes, scientists can learn about the Martian crust, mantle, and core, giving us a better understanding of its tectonic activity and the potential for volcanic eruptions. Analyzing the characteristics of Mars quakes, such as their frequency, magnitude, and epicenter locations, helps researchers construct a more comprehensive geological model of the planet. Mars quakes remind us that Mars is not just a barren planet. Despite its desolate appearance, it is a dynamic world with a rich geologic history. Number 8 the threat of perchlorates. NASA's exploration missions have raised a significant concern regarding the presence of perchlorates in Martian soil. These highly reactive chemical compounds can have negative effects on human health and create obstacles in establishing sustainable habitats on Mars. Perchlorates are toxic to humans and can disrupt the normal functioning of the thyroid gland, which affects hormone production and metabolism. The detection of perchlorates in Martian soil poses a substantial challenge to the safety and well-being of future astronauts. 
it is essential to address this threat and find innovative solutions. Scientists and engineers are actively searching for methods to eliminate or neutralize these compounds. This is crucial to ensure that Martian soil is suitable for agriculture and human habitation. Various techniques, including chemical treatments, thermal processing, and biological approaches are being explored to mitigate the risks associated with perchlorates. Number seven, unexplained oxygen fluctuations. NASA's exploration missions have found that oxygen levels on Mars change drastically over time, but the reasons for these variations are still a mystery. These oxygen fluctuations could be a result of dynamic chemical reactions or even unknown biological processes on the planet. You see, oxygen is an important component for supporting life as we know it. So, these fluctuations in its levels certainly create challenges for the habitability of Mars and the viability of future human missions. But on the flip side, the discovery of such oxygen fluctuations is like a reminder that Mars isn't a static planet. It's an ever-changing world that we still need to understand. By studying these variations, we may figure out more about the planet's atmospheric chemistry, geological processes, and even the potential for past or present life. Number six, the Phobos monolith. The presence of a peculiar structure on the Martian moon Phobos, called the Phobos monolith, ignited curiosity and speculation about its origin and significance. The Phobos monolith is an obelisk-like formation that's isolated and striking in appearance. People compare it to monoliths from science fiction movies and have different theories about its existence. Scientists are still trying to figure out the nature and composition of the Phobos monolith. Some suggest that it could be a natural geological formation shaped by asteroid impacts or other erosional processes. On the other hand, some speculate that the formation could have artificial origins. That sparks questions about potential extraterrestrial intelligence or ancient civilizations on Mars. Number 5. The Martian Water Mystery Let's talk about Mars and the question of whether there might be life there. When scientists started emphasizing on this proposition, it piques our interest. After all, every scientific statement is always based on facts and solid research. So, what made them think that there's life on Mars? Well, it all began with the discovery of water on Mars. This finding got astrobiologists who study the possibilities of life beyond Earth really intrigued. They started wondering if water, which played a crucial role in the evolution of life here on our planet, could have done the same thing on Mars. And that's where NASA's Mars mission in 2020 comes in. They had many goals, including studying the Martian landscape and gathering rock samples, but their main objective was to investigate if there was ever life on Mars or if there's still a chance for it to exist. It made sense to focus on places where they thought water used to be because, you know, a lot of life forms tend to hang around bodies of water. So, they picked a crater called Jazero as the landing site for the Perseverance rover in 2021. Interestingly, Jazero means water in Scandinavian. In February 2021, Perseverance safely landed there and they named the landing site the Octavia E. Butler Landing Site to honor the late African-American science fiction writer. Number 4. Perseverance Organic Matter Findings Some scientists from NASA think that a super-long river once flowed through a crater on Mars called Jazero. They even believe that there might have been a big lake there for a long time. It's pretty wild to think that Mars has been around for about 4.6 billion years, just like Earth. And if there was water on Mars, it raises the possibility of there being past or even present life on the planet. And that's what researchers are looking into. To explore this further, they've got a clever tool called Sherlock. It's a spectrometer that uses ultraviolet technology to search for organic matter and other chemicals that might hint at the existence of life. This Sherlock device was specially made for perseverance to detect organic matter in the rock samples it's been collecting on Mars. Now, why are they so interested in organic matter? Well, it turns out that carbon-based materials, which are essential for life as we know it, 
can only come from either waste or the decomposed remains of plants and animals. Meanwhile, the mission planners dropped some exciting news. Perseverance had found a significant amount of biological material during its exploration of an eight-mile stretch around the Jezero crater. The rover collected samples from different ridges near the crater, and it turned out that Skinner's Ridge and Wildcat Ridge had the highest concentrations of organic matter. Sunanda Sharma, one of the scientists working on Perseverance, said that this discovery is really promising for their main goal of finding signs of life on Mars. Number three, frozen flowers. Imagine walking on Mars and stumbling upon a delicate mineral flower branching outward like a tiny coral. It's almost like finding some greenery in an unexpected place. These mineral flowers are quite common on Mars. They are formed when ancient water mixes with ancient rock, resulting in beautiful mineral deposits. But finding a deposit that closely resembles a flower is quite rare, according to the researchers at NASA. It all started during an ongoing investigation of Martian rocks in Gale Crater. The Curiosity rover stumbled on this tiny surprise. This small, flower-like deposit standing out amidst the rugged Martian landscape. It's like a tiny oasis, a gentle reminder of the wonders that exist beyond our home planet. These frozen flowers give us a unique glimpse into the geological history of Mars, a testament to the water that once flowed there, shaping the surface over millions of years. Number two, evidence of past cataclysmic events. Did you know that scientists have uncovered fascinating evidence of past cataclysmic events that have shaped the planet's history? Through detailed observations and analysis, we've found indications of ancient geological activities that are nothing short of dramatic and catastrophic. The presence of massive impact craters like Hellas Basin and Argyre Basin are clear signs of past cosmic collisions with Mars. It's mind-boggling to think about the effects of such impacts. Massive upheavals, seismic activity, and the formation of distinct geological features. Even more awe-inspiring is the presence of the enormous volcano Olympus Mons, which suggests that Mars has experienced some truly intense volcanic eruptions in the past. These volcanic activities would have transformed the Martian surface, leaving behind breathtakingly unique volcanic constructs. The evidence of cataclysmic events in Mars's history is an essential key to understanding the planet's geological evolution. It highlights just how dynamic and ever-changing our neighboring world has been, and raises intriguing questions about how these events may have affected the planet's climate, habitability, and the potential for ancient life. Number 1. A Martian Book <laughs> Have you heard about the Martian book that NASA's Curiosity rover stumbled upon during its explorations? In April 2023, the rover was taking a break from its search for ancient water and stumbled upon an old hardback lying in the dust of Geddes Vallis. But here's the catch. It wasn't a real book. At first glance, the object appeared to be a book with a single page frozen mid-turn. However, upon closer inspection, the charming little book rock turned out to be just a small rock measuring only 2.5 centimeters wide. It's kind of ironic, don't you think? The rover's search for extraterrestrial knowledge even took it to books that weren't really books. This discovery highlights something absolutely fascinating about Mars. Rocks with peculiar shapes are quite common on the planet's surface. These peculiarly shaped rocks are formed from minerals that were left behind by ancient water. There was once a time these minerals were buried beneath softer sediments. But over billions of years, the relentless Martian winds have eroded away the surrounding material, leaving behind incredible formations. Thanks for watching. While you are here, Click the video on the screen to watch more amazing content.